light source like light bulb gives out transverse waves. Here is a diagram of a transverse wave that's propagating to the right. Now even though the particles themselves are simply oscillating vertically about a certain point, the shape of the wave is moving towards the right and it's moving at a certain speed. We call this the wave speed. The wave speed of a wave is related to two things. It's related to frequency and the wave's wavelength. Wave speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. In symbol format, we say V is equal to F lambda. Let's look at the dimensions of these quantities. Wavelength is usually measured in meters. By definition, frequency is the number of waves passing through a certain point per second. So we can say it's slash second. But it's kind of troublesome saying slash second. So we give it a name, hertz. And finally, wave speed, it's a speed, so it's meters per second. Let's look at an example question uh, that you might get in your GCSE exam. So the diagram shows a wave traveling along a rope. We know that's a transverse wave as well. The wavelength is given, which is 0.1 meter. The time period is 0.5 seconds, and we want to calculate the frequency. Let's write down the known quantities, and we can call this the toolbox method. So what I'm doing is writing down all the things that I know from the question that might be useful to me later on. And since I want to find frequency, I'm saying f is equal to question mark. I know that frequency is equal to the inverse of time period, so f is equal to 1 over t. Substitute 0 0.5 in, carry out the division, that gives me 2. Don't forget the units, which is hertz. Next, we want to calculate the speed of the wave. The wave speed equation, or the wave equation, is v is equal to f lambda. Substitute the answer uh, to frequency that we found out from part A into this question that gives us 2 times 0 0.1, 0 0.2 meters per second.